U.S. President Joe Biden and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu have discussed the ongoing negotiations to close a deal for the return of hostages held in Gaza since Hamas's 7th October massacre. As the sides await the terror group's response to the latest proposal. As per reports, Hamas's response is expected in the next few days. They also discussed Israel's intentions to open more crossings into northern Gaza, facilitating increased humanitarian assistance in the region. The crossings in question, namely the Karni and Erez crossings, are set to be fully opened by Israel along with Gate 96 to allow access into northern Gaza for aid purposes. Opening more crossings is deemed crucial for ensuring a steady influx of aid into Gaza, especially amidst fears of potential famine. Mr. Sanjeev Shavasa, international affairs expert, joins us on the broadcast. So a very good morning to you and thank you so much for speaking to us on News X. Now, uh, of course, latest developments coming in as far as the Israel-Hamas war is concerned. Uh, U.S. President Joe Biden, Benjamin Netanyahu discussing Israel's plan to open crossings for aid into Gaza. How do you view these developments? Well, a very good morning, uh, Sabri, and uh, good morning to all the viewers. You know, uh, this is a, a constructive uh, discussion which has taken place uh, between uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and uh, uh, U.S. President Joe Biden. And uh, during uh, this discussion, uh, uh, it, has, uh, uh, it has been reported that Israel has agreed to open more uh, crossings uh, into northern Gaza, like uh, Kardi and uh, Erich uh, crossings, and which are going to be uh, fully opened. Uh, by Israel, and uh, it will certainly uh, be uh, a very uh, big humanitarian uh, relief uh, for the people of uh, northern Gaza, those who are stuck in those uh, situations. Also, during this discussion, the, both the leaders uh, uh, discussed uh, uh, about uh, the uh, Israel's plan in Rafa, and obviously United States of America is of the view that any uh, Israeli operation against Hamas in Rafa should be carried out in such a way that it does not uh, lead to collateral damages. And, uh, and uh, because in Rafa, the southernmost uh, part of uh, Gaza, where uh, about one million uh, uh, refugees are, are there, and uh, they should not come into harm's way whenever Israel conduct uh, and whichever operation against Hamas. So that issue has come up in, under discussion. Also, the issue regarding the hostage uh, uh, situation and uh, how those hostages uh, could be uh, release from uh, Hamas's captivity as early as possible. For that to do also, uh, the, uh, uh, this kind of uh, this discussion has taken place. So I think overall, uh, this uh, is uh, uh, very much in the beauty of the fact that United States of America and Israel both are uh, having close co coordination and, and consultations uh, with each other uh, uh, while you know, Israel goes ahead with their war against uh, uh, terrorism, war against Hamas. And Israel uh, obviously will have to take care of the humanitarian crisis uh, and, uh, and they, they will have to do their best to address those uh, humanitarian uh, crises in Gaza. And that is what United States of America is also insisting upon. And, and the last point is that uh, obviously United States of America uh, and Israel both uh, will uh, be also uh, um, uh, are having discussion that how this uh, entire uh, war against uh, Hamas uh, could be done in such a way that it does not lead to any kind of uh, any regional escalation. So I think all those imperatives are very much there uh, for Israel to ensure, and I think Israel is uh, doing its best. And this talk is, uh, as I said, it's a constructive talk uh, between the two leaders. And, uh, and uh, accordingly, uh, I think Israel will be able to come up with uh, uh, their plans in such a way that uh, uh, Operation Army against Hamas uh, uh, is continued at the same time the humanitarian crisis is also addressed. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.